You are wasting time with Arrow Productions. A year in Provence. Three differences between the book and the TV show. After years of being off the market, the TV series is available for purchase again at the time of recording. We just watch all four seasons of the year. The book and the series follow each other in some ways, such as the organization of chapters by month starting in January and ending in December. Some of the stories appear in both, such as the episode about not ripping up vineyards to make a tennis court. Other vignettes that involve the Maleys mediating between the townspeople are only on the TV show. Having gone over both of them, here are the three biggest differences between the book and TV adaptation of A Year in Provence. Number one, Mrs. Maley is a much stronger character on the TV show. She is the one who speaks passable French and smooths things over. She also opposes her husband at times. There are scenes where she is the only one on the screen. She drives many of the plots. On TV, her name is Annie, and she begins the series by leaving her job at Inland Revenue. In the book, we see that her name is Jenny, because she is the subject of the dedication. Beyond that, she exists as part of the we in the narration. We liked dinner, we went into the village, we were put off by the weather. She does not get a line of dialogue until the last chapter. The December chapter and the dedication are the only times that she shows up as an individual. Jenny could be anybody. Number two. The secondary characters are much stronger in the book. They have interests, such as the plumber who plays the clarinet in winter to keep his f fingers nimble. In the book, they go on about a variety of topics. On the TV show, there are people to whom the Maleys talk slowly. Number three. The Maleys learn more in the book. In the book, they arrive in France after having taken French lessons. Peter Maley expounds on the Provençal accent and how it differs from standard French. This takes some skill in any language. When the plumber explains central heating in the book, the problem is the subject matter, not the language, as it is on the TV show. When visitors show up in the book, there is a marked contrast between the residents and their guests in terms of their level of adaptation. On the TV show, the Maleys are fish out of water and stay that way. As time goes on, they learn very little. They know more than their guests, but not much more. Have you seen the TV show recently? What differences did you notice? Let us know in the comments.